Steve, it's our first time checking in for the 2018-19 swimming season. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pirates essentially are about halfway through the season. Mm -hmm. um, you've had four dual meets with this team. The men are 4-0, and the women are 3-1 and in those Northwest Conference dual meets. What did you learn about these teams through the four dual meets you've had so far? Uh, I learned that uh, they love to race, and they love to work hard, and... Um, you know, they like each other, and so it's been a pretty terrific first half. You know, it, uh, things have gone really well, and there's been a lot of improvement, and, uh, you know, the energy on the deck is really positive. This past weekend, you finished off the first half at the Logger Invitational over in Tacoma. Mm -hmm. Some really fast times mm -hmm. for this team. Uh, the men finished first, the women finished second. Uh, give us your recap of how this past weekend's meet went. Yeah, it uh, it was a great meet. They uh, they raced really fast. You know, I you know I asked the team after it was all said and done how many had gone lifetime best, and you know it was over half the team. And uh, we didn't fully come down and shave and taper for it. So I thought it was an excellent meet. You know, I I sent them home for Thanksgiving, so they had a few days at home, and uh, they came back to Whitworth. Uh, the week leading into the meet and we worked hard for a few days and then backed off a little bit toward the end of the week and uh, it was just enough rest where they they really popped and all their hard work that uh, they've been putting in over the fall really started to show. A lot of young swimmers on this team mm -hmm. uh, you come off a meet like that as a coach how do you keep them from being satisfied and keep that edge of all right this is just a step to where we want to get yeah, you know, I kind of explained the situation to them. I mean, this morning we sat down as a team and I talked about it. And uh, our team has really big goals, and I just I remind them of that. Um, you know, I put up on the wall the list of all the national times and stuff like that. And, um, you know, we have a couple goals. We really want to do well at our conference meet and try and win a championship there. But uh, I also have a lot of swimmers that want to get to the next level and go to NCAs, and they realize that's a big step forward for a lot of them and so um, you know I think they're pretty grounded they're not taking it for granted they know there's a lot of work ahead if they're gonna get to where they want to go um, and so for me it's simple I just have to remind them talk about the plan for the rest of this month how do you get through final exams first mm -hmm. and then they go home for break and then you guys gather together and talk about the training that's coming up yeah so uh, we're very quickly back into our weightlifting schedule. Um, we're going to actually lift on Saturday, which we normally don't do. Um, but I gave them Monday off after the meet, which is when we normally would lift. So we'll put in an extra lifting session on Saturday. And then the next five days, we're going to go back into heavy training um, because final exams are coming up the week, uh, the week after. And we know that during finals, we'll be backing off a little bit so they can hit the books and do what they need to do to... Um, have good final exams and, and finish strong in the classroom. So next five, six days, we're really going to put it in. And then over the Christmas break, uh, they need to be home training and getting ready because when they get back to Spokane, um, we're going we're gonna to hit it hard for about a month. 